<laughs> so, okay, so now we're going to actually get down to talking about um, a few games. And, uh, well, first of all, like, the big thing that happened this, uh, this week, actually, of course, in game news was the fact that we Fit launched. And uh, Nintendo had a big launch in Central Park. And they uh, actually did a, a really interesting thing that I thought was pretty cool. For every person who came and actually tried Wii Fit out in the park, they uh, Nintendo donated uh, $5 to the American Heart Association, right. up to uh, a certain amount, which I don't remember, but it was, you know, quite large. So I'm really... Uh, I'm looking forward to Wii Fit, but uh, from what I understand, um, now, our, now Wutini uh, picked his copy mm-hmm. up, and he's going to be doing a running series of articles sort of documenting uh, his, you know, we fitting his way to health and, right. and how that works out for him. So be sure to definitely check out the front page and Wutini's articles in the evening about how that's going for him. But I know actually a lot of people have been having some troubles with, uh, with we Fit because of the way that it uh, calculates your body mass index. Yes. It not only does your weight, but it does the BMI as well. And that seems to be a problem for some people. And I know there was an issue with a young girl who, you know, got on, on the system and it basically told her she was obese. Yeah. And, and actually I did the same thing to our friend, Scott C. Jones, boy reporter. <laughs> Scott who, C. Jones, boy reporter, <laughs> who is not obese. He, who is not obese at all. And he, a uh, very, very tall, strapping lad. And I told him he was obese. And he actually wrote a very funny article where he sort of, like, he, like, bought a 12-pack of beer and, like, compared himself <laughs> to a 12-pack of beer on Wii Fit and actually, like, put the 12-pack of beer on the Wii Fit and, you know, and called it Twelver, I think was the name of it. It was, very, it was really ridiculous, but quite funny, you know, quite a funny so, little article. This is something I've been anticipating for a while when, since we saw uh, Wii Fit at E3 when we found out that instead of using weight, they were going to use the BMI. And the BMI, the body mass index, is a simple ratio of your height to your weight, which is, like I said, simple. It doesn't take into account your build, it doesn't take into account your age, it doesn't take into account anything like that. So you could be, now, I'm a big guy, it's obviously going to tell me I'm obese, because if it can tell Scott C. Jones, six-pack reporter, that, it, that he's obese, <laughs> me I'm obese. But anybody who gets, anybody who, you know, if you're 6'2 and over... Uh, if you're 6'2 and over, I don't know what it is, 170 or 180 or whatever, if you're 5'11 and over 140, um, it's going to tell you that you're fat. It, it, it's, it'll reach a certain number, and over that is obese. Uh, and I think we're going to get a lot of, especially with Nintendo reaching out to women and girls, you're going to get a lot of women and girls, more so than more so than guys who I don't think necessarily care as much, um, a lot of women and girls are going to be have their have their feelings hurt by a game that's ostensibly trying to lure them into gaming. Right. So I think right. that might actually backfire in a major way. Well, we'll see. I mean, I'd be interested to see if they improve that somehow. And I don't, but I don't know at this point how they could improve that without changing the mechanic of the way the way the game works. I mean, the point of the BMI is to be a simple, uh, linear metric of where people stand according to the norm. But if you're smaller than the norm, or bigger than the norm, broader than the norm, thicker than the norm, stronger than the norm, weaker than the norm, it you you know it's it's not going to be accurate. Right. So I mean I think it's a it's a simple catch-all mechanism to uh, implement the game, but it's going to have problems. Yeah. Well, I'm the, I I haven't actually tried it out yet. So i and I know we actually neither of us have tried it out yet. We're sort of like leaving that to uh, Wutini to to be our sort of we fit guy. And I definitely am interested in checking it out, but I, I think I'm going to hold off for a little while and just kind of watch and see how it all goes. I mean, I go to the gym on a regular basis, so I don't know that I need to stand on a little yeah. plastic board. Although, I have to say I am interested in getting the balance board just so that I can play some of these third-party games that are coming out that are incorporating the balance board right. um, as part of the mechanic. Like, I, I have a copy of Wii Ski, which is actually a pretty cute, fun little game. And if you have the balance board, you can actually use it to do the right. skiing. And you did, and I tried it out at uh, at the gamers uh, night that I went to that included it. And it was really, uh, it was really pretty cool to be up there, sort of. Yeah. You know. Whereas I'm looking forward to the yoga aspect and the balance aspect of the game because I, I do go to the gym and I don't need to do little, you know, curls on my Wii balance board. However, um, however. The, the yoga and the balance is something that I don't get to work on a lot, and, and having a visual metric of, of where I am and how my balance is is something that I'm looking forward to. 
Yeah, what was it? I mean, and, oh, and actually, uh, ironically, apparently the 12 pack of beer didn't have very good balance. <laughs> of course it didn't. <laughs> yeah, which is so weird, but very, but funny at the same time. Oh, poor 12er. You know, but, um, yeah, so we balance board, it's out now. I'm, uh, I, and I know that, like, the, like, the, the Nintendo World Store sold out instantly. Yeah, that's like the other thing is why you might be waiting a while is that if you didn't pre-order, you might have to wait a while. Right. I didn't pre-order either, so I'm I'm not even going to bother going and looking for it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, I stopped by the uh, the game store the other day, and I heard them. You know, they were like talking to somebody mm-hmm. on the phone and saying that they weren't going to be getting any more in for quite some time. So I think uh, you know there's gonna be a lot of people going without, unless of course. It's going to end up being uh, sort of like the Wii, where if you go to the Nintendo World Store, you'll probably be able to get it on a regular basis, but I think that's else. likely. But, you know, we have to remember this is hardware. It's not just a game. So it, it does face, it may face some of the same uh, challenges and supply that the, that the Wii itself did. Right, right. So that's, uh, that wraps it up for our, our Wii Fit portion. And now we're going to talk about a game that is, I know, very near and dear to, to Tiny's heart and, and was sort of not really on my radar until uh, I went to actually see it, uh, you know, see a build of it about a month ago uh, for Kotaku, and that's Fallout 3. Now, I only recently, like within the last maybe six months, really got into Oblivion, which I know a lot of people have been into for a long time. I'm a late comer to the series, and we forgive you. Yeah, <laughs> well, thank you. And um, I, I really, really enjoy the game. And so, you know, Bethesda, who does that, is is the ones who are doing Fallout Three. And man, the build that I saw just looked phenomenal. It looked so, so amazing. And and I'm really looking forward to this game coming out. And I know, you know, I know you are too. I mean, my panties have been wet for it for about a year or more since I heard about it. And I know some people are perhaps. Um, have some reasons to to be wary of Bethesda doing a Fallout game, given that uh, Bethesda Bethesda games do seem to have a, a a look and a feel, and and that's not that shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Um, but you know, I think with a with a with a world as expansive as Fallout, and with uh, sort of the weight of Fallout Three, you know, the, the responsibility of making Fallout Three, I think Bethesda is a really good choice. I'm glad they bought the rights to the game, and and what we've seen so far has been really, really super. Especially the beginning of the game, where you where you actually grow up, and the choices that you make as a child affect, um, like in other Bethesda games, the choices at the beginning of the game affect what class you are, or your stats, and so forth and so on. Right. Well, you know, and the other thing that I really liked about it too is I know that one of the things about the original, uh, the original two games was that it was, there was just a lot of humor involved. Like it was very, very sort of like very, very, very silly. Very. Fun. And one of the things that the the guy that I saw demo the game was talking about was that they didn't they wanted to retain the humor of of the of the original games, but they didn't really want that it wanted to be that sort of like punch in the face kind of humor that the original ones did. I mean, they, they really didn't? They, they they didn't want to go okay. for that. They really wanted it to be a little bit more subtle, and so. Um, it is very humorous, but the humor, a lot of the humor lies in the visuals and the things that you see rather than coming right out and sort of like hitting it. And-